Hi class, this is your video feedback for your Real Deal Taco site. I'm very pleased with everything that uh, you've accomplished this week. And I'm going to go through this like a first time user. Uh, I have seen some of these, but I'm just going to run through as if I'm seeing them for the first time and give you that kind of usability feedback. I will try to go quickly so that you don't have a really long video to watch. If it seems like I'm going uh, too fast, you can always slow the video down. Um, all right, so let's jump in. Very good, real deal tacos, nice clean navigation. I can read it, see what's going on. Let's see if this is the full view. It is. And nice uh, logo here, a little less space here than here, but you know, not terribly noticeable. This isn't showing up really great until I roll over it, so the high contrast might be an issue there that we want to work with. Um, increase, nice and clean, clean. Okay. Very good. Okay. And everyone will want to make sure that they check uh, for spelling. Um, go through carefully before you submit on Friday and make sure that you've uh, taken another look at this. Ordinarily, uh, we left a line uh, and we try not to have a single word on one line, right? So you can edit this. Sometimes you have to get approval for editing from a client, but uh, you have permission to do that. And probably a little space here. Uh, this is looking very separate uh, from that. This I would take off because it's not um, as relevant. They have little fish icons if you like. The parallax scrolling you'll find can be really tricky. Um, it's best used when something drops back and has some dimension that is um, sort of a perspective, very deep perspective, uh, so that it falls behind the layers on top. Think of it that way. You want to get some depth. Uh, and, you know, a smaller logo would even work um, because we don't want to cut things off so much. Uh, when there's an image that blends nicely, you know, that's not an issue as far as cutting off. And here's the story here. So what is this? Okay. All right. And I think this could be cut down a little bit more and definitely left a line, right? And break it up into some paragraphs. Okay. And I think we want to do something here. That overlap isn't quite working. Um, you know, even if you allowed some gutter space here, that might work, but it's not bad, not bad. Okay, I think we have shifted fonts a few times. Uh, we do want to be consistent with our fonts. Okay, so only choose two and stick with those. I kind of like this one. Uh, okay. Yeah, so let's take the Mexican hat off. Uh, that's a, kind of a different feel from the San Diego um, Baja fish taco feel. Um, change this, update this, put your name and the date, and just make this feel a little more like uh, the first page up here. All right, so let's see what happens when we go to your menu. Different page. Okay. Everything is pretty good above the fold. You've got a nice line here. That's good. Let's uh, left align these. And you can cut this down if you like, and you can add a sentence here to make these prices align. And pull that up. Okay, your gutter space is nice. Your padding is good. Uh, same thing here, left align. Try and make them the same number of lines. A um, little space there. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, picture needs to load there. See how fast your pages are loading too because you've got a number of images. So those would have to be optimized, each of them. And they would each have to have alternative text. Um, that is where you go in and you label um, at some point. Let's try and edit these down to where they're the same. Okay, so you're editing for the web and for design. All right, and those should be uh, filled in for your submission on week four, all right? Okay, again, font, we want to be consistent. 
okay. And this is the same that we had, and now we're going like this. Okay. okay, so let's try and keep this the same. If we say about us, say our story, you could say our, our story up here. That would be fine, too. All right, all right, very good. Okay. Nice, nice and clean. This will have to be replaced. This is placeholder text and um, images here, rather. Nice. Uh, break this up and give it a little space for one of these paragraphs. Um, probably just make it two, like you can bring this up to here and flow that. You can bring this up a little higher so that we can get everything on the screen there. You're real close. Let's left align these, everything left align here. This looks to me like it's maybe a point larger font. I'm gonna check that out. Okay. Okay, this image needs to be optimized, taking a while to load, right? But it's looking good. Same thing here, you know, align the bottom. Uh, have the same number of rows. It's good. You've got it left aligned. Okay. Good. All right. And you'll go through this, uh, and you'll start to see things you didn't see before um, as you revise this for Friday. I'm sorry, for uh, when you come back from break, actually. Week four, which was kind of will kind of be week five to you. Okay, all right, and you have an extra page, which is always extra work for you. So I appreciate the uh, going above and beyond. This looks like a picture of words, so you'll want to enter that text for sure. Uh, this looks good. I've seen maps that don't really look like they fit, but this one is working, all right? And your social media can go to the actual uh, sites. We have one for Facebook, for example. All right. Good job. Logo looks good. Okay. All right. I think you can get a little more space here. Use the white. Use a white logo uh, on a transparent background and put that there. Real Deal Tacos. Or you could put it up here. Um, nice. Clean. Okay. Uh, you all want to make sure that you're looking at the spacing between your paragraphs. Uh, let's flow this. I'm going to bring that up here. And reflow this. Okay. All right. Uh, probably want to take a dress off for sure um, because people don't usually want to give you their address consider phone as well um, but pretty good there and this is, is going to the real deal taco Facebook nice job clean uh, this is a little big but I uh, it's it's kind of okay there uh, this color is introduced for the first time but it doesn't bother me um, maybe you do want the blue logo here if it's not, uh, if you have enough contrast there. All right. Good job. I like that everything is on a screen at the same time. Everything above the scroll. Good work. Okay. Uh -huh. So we're going to start with the menu. Let me see. Maybe we, okay, we're going to start here. Um, okay, so we definitely want to work on that, right? Get that down here, a little smaller. Reflow that. And this would probably, well, it's okay. I feel like this is supposed to do something. I know that it's for aesthetics. I just feel like it should do something. Um, and your calendar that is a WordPress plugin, looks like. And you are going to the Facebook site. Work make it a separate link that opens up 
and doesn't take you away from this. Okay, so set that link to open in a new window or a new tab. Okay. Um, there's not a lot of information here that we need. This can go in the footer for sure. Uh, and you've already got the logo here, so you wouldn't need it here, although it looks clean. I like the way this looks. I really do. It's really clean. Um, but this can definitely go in the footer. Okay. We have to scroll a bit to get to what we're looking for. So, you know, sometimes this needs to come up a little higher to start. Uh, let's definitely left align that, break it up, and cut it down. Okay. So we minimize scrolling and clicking. That's our goal. Okay. This one's, a, you know, again, this is kind of in the way. Um, that'll have to be resized or, or made more meaningful and purposeful. Um, this is interesting to me. It is a, an additional click. I would rather you go here and it bring you right here. I like this clarity. I really do. I think you're onto something here. Um, even if you minimize or reduce the number of photos, I like how clean this is. You know, but like I said, you may have to bring it all up. Okay, so just go through and double check the spelling for yourself. Um, again, we're, we're redundant in that we have it in both places. This is nice because it's clean. Maybe it needs to be up here. Maybe this is a smaller bar. Um, that might get you a little room there. Uh, left align on all these nice left align but I like the way you've got this laid out it's strong okay okay um, left align that make sure there's a good break between here I know it's the template so you want to go through and work with that again bring it all up this looks good good it's looking good. Left align, break that up. Same thing. All right, good work. I like it. Okay. Nice. And you are going to the Real Deal Taco links. Um, again, this might be the blue one here. I would change these colors. I know it's the template, but I would kind of get into the... Uh, branding a little more with the, the blue and keep in mind it's a food truck and food trucks don't have glassware all right so that's really important um, it's a great photo but and i know it comes with a template so people will recognize it go here and change the date and put your name uh, let's see if i click this i go to the menu again let's do something about this color um, it feels a little more italian um, maybe even French. Left align. Um, yeah, higher contrast here. You want this color to drop back a little bit. Okay, left align these things. Same thing here. Break those up into three columns if you can. Okay, so... Okay. Again, and this is taking a long time to load, so that would have to be optimized, reduced in size. Cut this down a little bit more so we don't have to scroll to see the whole thing. Um, since, yeah, people generally won't read that much uh, on a website, okay? Mm -hmm. Think about the video that you saw writing for the web. Okay, same thing with these images. Um, take a look in, uh, in the Google Doc and try and get some of those uh, images for tacos, right? That's why they're there, so you have the content you need. All right, these do look yummy. Okay, there we go. Uh, this I'm not sure about. All right, so... Good work. Um, 
just take care of those few things and pick up the brand a little mm -hmm. more uh, before it's returned. So this image needs to be optimized so it pops up a little quicker. All right, good job. All right, I, I like this color palette. I haven't seen this combo. We need to clear this, make that smaller. Uh, always decide if this is something that you... Hmm, The key is we want to get as high up as we can to begin our important content. Uh, let's remove this particular uh, font that has either a drop shadow or extruded so that it's a little clearer. We want to clear that. <laughs> okay, nice map. And this works. Um, not sure it's Sandy. It says San Diego back here. That's or I don't know. Um, maybe the red isn't quite working with the palette, and we want to try and keep the colors the same. All right, with our fonts. Okay. okay, so this could be the Instagram. We see hamburgers here, so that's an issue. Those will all have to be replaced. We've got a lot of space here. And then this is kind of meaningless there. Um, another color introduced, the purple. Let's just have the one map. If you want to bring it down here, that's probably best. But let's just have the one. And let's have the fictitious down in the, uh, the disclaimer down in the footer. This needs to be a little uh, higher contrast so we can read it. Um, probably a lowercase u there. Yeah, this is kind of dead space right here. So we want to close that. And of course this says food truck template. We want to make sure that our navigation doesn't cover anything up. All right. So this would have to be removed. Um, if you want to, make everything white uh, font if you like. Um, maybe this should be another shade of blue or this color. Might look nice. And again, that red. Okay, so when I go to calendar and events, it takes me to the map. Okay, so work on that. Menu, this is kind of a new look here with the box, so we want to be consistent. Make these, you know, uh, the same depth and left align. A lot of space here, we want to see what we can do about that. And of course images either need to be optimized so they'll load or inserted. Nice. Uh, you could try two columns here and break that up. Um, you can even take an item off if you like. I mean, if this gets to the point where you can use it in your resume or in your portfolio, then, you know, make it look good. All right, take an item off. All right. All right. Good work. I'm looking forward to seeing this uh, when you return. Okay, uh, these videos, sometimes they're really beautiful, but they take a lot of time to load. Um, 
let's see muchachos mm, we're kind of breaking away from the brand of the blue and white so let's be careful about that uh, okay Hmm. Uh, the same thing that I said about the um, parallax scrolling images in between also applies to this kind of uh, canvas. This kind of canvas works well when um, it is separating from the back that is in depth. So either it's very dark and has, you know, maybe a a street that has you know homes back here like a one-point perspective and then these are close up or vice versa where there this image has a lot of depth and this is close up um, that's when that tends to work best um, we want to reflow these and is the text and uh, yeah I would start looking at rather than the red and green of the template start looking at the blue delete those, the blue of, um, you know, the brand. Glassware, we want to get rid of. The red. And minimize scrolling. So we want to bring, if I go to happenings, it takes me here. If I go to the menu, okay, is this a separate menu? Did I see that yet? Okay. Yeah, and this, of course, so... Okay, that's nice. Uh, these feel a little south of the border. Um, I would take this off because they're hard to make, you know, it look like the brand at this point with that template. Mm -hmm. And it says gallery and I don't feel like that's a gallery. It's more, it's an online menu. Mm -hmm. And contact us. Let's go ahead and put the icons instead of the links here. And again, we're gonna bring this up when we go here mm -hmm. to this page. It's going to be all above the scroll. We're not going to scroll too much to get to it. So make that in two columns. And uh, let's see. You do have your social media here, so you really don't need it here so much. Um, you can put a form. Maybe you had an idea of a form there. All right, so I'm looking forward to see this too. And pretty much what you want to do is break away from the colors of the template and start to work with the colors of the Real Deal Taco brand. All right, good job. Okay, we probably want to, I've, I've seen this template and we need to enlarge the navigation. You can make it all caps if you need to, but it just needs to be a little bigger. I would use the um, transparent background uh, logo for that. Okay, nice. I know it's hard to get this to align you can double up, you guys. Um, if you notice, Monday and Wednesday, it's in the same place. And it looks like these are the same. And so double check those because these are not, Tuesday and Thursday are different from Monday and Wednesday locations. So go back and check that. Um, yeah, all right. But the layout so far is good. The colors just swapped now. Um, let's cut that down for sure and keep it all above the scroll. The menu starts when we get to here, so let's bring that up a little higher. Um, whatever you have to do. This is a lot of header. That is, that's space that you could use. So you might want to see what you can do there. Maybe squeeze out a little there. Um, okay. So same thing, you can edit these. Nice. Okay. Very good, uh, Severia. Let's see, let's go to the blog. Okay, again, we're having to scroll to get where we need, like to here. 
Okay, so uh, see how you can bring that up a little. But these work well and they are, seem to be loaded. Uh, could be because I've been had this site open before. Okay. Hmm. Same thing. Uh, simplify your backgrounds, make some choices. This is good. Your images are all right. Um, just want to maximize this important real estate. All right, good job. Okay, again, this is the uh, template you want to double check. There'll be little things about this particular template. Um, I think I would put this on the circle, making sure that the padding is equal all the way around. I changed this uh, hover color, the rollover, to one of these colors. Um, bring this up a little and cut that down so they're not scrolling. Okay. Um, I personally would take this off. Um, if you can adjust the colors and make it feel a little more like real deal, like with a logo or something, maybe it would work. And okay. Um, look at the spelling, you guys, and make sure that these are accurate. Take this off, change that photo. Yeah. Okay. The menu, you might want to fix that to where it stays uh, in one place so that um, when you're scrolling, you have access to it. Otherwise, we have to go all the way up to get to the menu. So you need a, either a side menu that will um, follow us. This is a picture of words, so you have to enter all of that text before you resubmit. Okay. And just have the icons here, all right? Not so much. The red isn't really on brand, doesn't feel right, okay? So let's get rid of the the uh, red and the deep red. All right, good job, almost there. Nice and clean. Uh, this is a WordPress, so it has a little bigger learning curve, a little longer. Um, and you've got a link to WordPress. All of these are to WordPress. So I want to, you know, work on that. This black line, make sure that that's intentional. These images look dark. They have a layer over them. Good. I like the fonts you're using, nice and clean. You've got a lot of nice air there. It's a little space here, I think. Okay. Might swap this info, this and this. Okay, let's see what happens. That red, I think, can change to a cooler color. You've got a map that's taking to load. Nice color combinations. You might try this instead of the red. Try this kind of a lime green. Um, okay. All right. So you can see Wednesday and Monday are the same setup, where here it's swapped for Thursdays and the zoo. And that's good. All right. Okay, so here's the thing. We want to make sure everybody, when we tell them that they're going to the contact page, that they're going like to the contact page, that they don't have to look for things. So that's going to be real important for you guys, an important goal, um, so that there's not a lot of scrolling. 
Um, this, there's a little bit of scrolling to get to that. Little space here. I like white space, but we might have to do something about that. Okay, this is fine. It's a secondary issue. Um, but we do have two of these on the same page, so that's redundant and not necessary. Clean. Again, try and put that in two, I think. But it's looking really good. Nice work. Okay. Uh, we need a little higher contrast here. And we need to fix this, right? Um, that either needs to move over or it doesn't need to be there at all because we are already saying that. Uh, we also have a logo here and here, so think about that. Let's just put the icons, okay? Um, since we don't have them anywhere else, you might consider putting them in the footer. And again, we have this here and here. Um, I like the way it looks, but I think you're going to have to make some choices. Nice. Font's a little small were you to put it on mobile, but uh, nice. This probably should be left or in a column up here, like break this up. Yeah, I think a one column would give you, um, you know, reduce the width of this and bring the image up. Okay, same thing here. With the need a little more header space here. Cut this down. Okay, clear this if you're going to put it here and not here. But I think you should just lock it someplace and keep it there in one one place. <laughs> Okay, we've introduced another color, and let's take the address off because people don't want to provide that. So let's think about that color, and I think remove this and put it in one place. Okay, a little tight down here. This footer can come down, I think. That will give you more space, too. Um, yeah. Okay, so you have to think about this one. Uh, you might want to left align it and put this over on the right uh, with a drop shadow maybe as it covers this up. Just have to think about that. This has a slider, but just the one image. This is new. Um, again, lots of logos and maybe reduce that in size. Making sure all your text is the same and it is. All right. These are looking good. Okay, so this is a little more salmon than red. So far, I'm okay with it if it's picking this up. Um, and I do like, you see, when I was speaking about having the canvas like this, the background is definitely falling back. In part because it's you know got this overlay on it, but um, it is helping this pop forward, and it's not feeling like it's on the same plane. All right. Okay. Okay. This is laid out nicely. Minimum scrolling. Hmm. Interesting. This looks good. Uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead and left align those all the way down and make sure there's no placeholder text. Okay. I think tighten that up a little bit and make it consistent as far as maybe the price. Well, you do have them both bold. It may require a little description to make this feel right. All right, to be consistent. Something simple. Okay, what happened there? Something happened. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, but this parallax scroll works right here. This works. Okay, I'm okay with that. Glassware, so you want to change that. This is going to the Wix Facebook. So that'll be... Okay. I think we want to get this up higher. Uh, we've suddenly gone into a black and white style. Um, this we need to remove. Just take that whole container out. These are loading slowly, so they're very large files. Take this container out. Take that out, it's not necessary. And we're asking in this, we're asking people to scroll through a lot when this is probably what you want to tell them, that and this. So let's get rid of all this scrolling, all of that, all of it, all of it, and just get to here, okay? And you can bring this up a little bit. And before you know it, you're in your locations. Um, mm -hmm. And you'll need an events link. Okay, so looks like we've got a couple of maps. Let's just have one and have that be the contact. Or just take that off. Okay, and just have this. Um, you might not need to say hours there. You can just have it there. All right, good job, everybody. I really like where you're going. They all look unique and different from one another. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you do when you implement the revisions. And um, I think you'll find that you have a pretty good portfolio piece when you're finished. All right, good job, everybody.